English is 47 here. And welcome to another brand new Let's Play for me, uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake. Resident Evil 2. I have a couple of things already done. I've played some of this already. Uh, bonuses? Oh, I ain't worried about all that. Extra mode. I don't like those. They're too cray cray. Story mode. Playing a new game. I have played some. I'm almost done with the uh, with the Claire A run. Uh, I've watched a number of people play this game. Um, Pro Jared's still playing through it. Uh, Markiplier. His his run's pretty entertaining. Uh, his second run's better than his first, interestingly enough. Um, PBG. And uh, PB and Jeff, I guess is what it is. They play through Leon A. I don't think they've, they've done anything else besides that. My plan is to play Leon A, Claire B, Claire A, Leon B. All kind of together. Um, over time. Over time, of course, because I don't have a lot of time to play this typically. We play a new game. We're going to play as Mr. Kennedy. And we are playing on assisted mode. Let me tell you why. I have, I have an issue with games that are inanely difficult. Like, you... You can and you can watch people play on hardcore. There are tons of people that do that, like almost professionally. Uh, that like speedrunners and that and that kind of thing. And that's great. They're actually pretty helpful. Oh, a couple of things. And I'll teach you some things as we go. Um, this guy, it's so good. The graphics in this game are so freaking good. Um, it's such a great game. I played the original. For the N64, I was an N64 kid before I was a PlayStation guy. Uh, I'm playing this on PS4, by the way. Uh, I played on N64 because you could input some sweet cheat codes and be invincible and have just lots and lots of ammo and stuff. So this game on standard and hardcore has a tendency to make it difficult to kill all the enemies, which I find frustrated. Um, I like to clear hallways and get it done. You can do it on standard mode, but you can't reasonably do it on hardcore mode. Just because it's it's just crazy. It's very hard. We're not here for that. We're going to have a good time. We're going to play and enjoy this lovely story. More seconds, good. I'll show you. Uh, the model work is freaking phenomenal. This poor dude, right? He doesn't know. He's like, oh no. But if you'll notice, watch this. He freaks out. No. No. Oh no. I hit a lady. And then he is more concerned, ultimately. Like, he's freaking out, right? It's like, oh no. I can't look at her. I can't look at her. Okay. Oh no. RPD. Raccoon Police Department. Or, Jacksepticeye uh, calls it Real Proud Dad. <laughs> Welcome to Leon and Claire's Horrible, terrible, awful, no good, very bad night. Yes, I'm pretty sure this game takes place over just a single night. Because reasons. And you probably couldn't safely sleep in the police station anyway. No one's around. <clears throat> Why is the police car door open? It is weird. 
This fellow, by the way, uh, is modeled. His, the model for him is Edward something. I forget what his last name is. Um, Claire, is, the sort of Claire model, is a lady named Jordan McEwen, I think. Uh, they're both cute, cute people. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this sexy man. Oh yeah, got that chin, and that hair. What up? So I have it set for circle as run, rather than um, the left button, because it annoys me. I don't like having the left button be run. If I can help it. Hello. Hello. No, there's blood everywhere. Look at them, uh, look at them cheap cigarettes, man. Is it cigarette? Is this cigarette pricing? Special price, four fifty-eight. Is there anything? Okay, there's no map yet. I was like, is there anything in here that is like actually of value or use? I can never remember. Let's just go. Just leave. I'm good. I'm totally good. We, you know, don't don't need to stay here. You can hear some combat, some uh, angsty combat. Can you just leave? You can't. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. No, we won't do that. We won't do that to you, man. Hey, buddy. buddy. You okay? Are you good? Hey. Point. Okay. Don't move. I'm coming. <clears throat> so this is the game that feels more. Um, it feels more video gamey than a lot of games have felt in the past. Um, so like games nowadays are really heavily focused on realism. At least some of them, like especially your military and sports games. Um, this game has a lot kind of going for it. Yeah. All right. Wait, hang on. We're not done with you just yet. There we go. Okay. First, first trick of the trade. You see how he, he moved around and he's not like in that weird down T pose position anymore? Hello. Uh, that is a. Ooh, do you have ammo? No, of course you don't. That would be convenient. Alright, fine. Fine. Okay, I'm gonna use that. Okay. Uh, Oh, that might be loud. Let me let me uh I'll get around to fixing that soon. These guys by the way, there's no reason to kill these guys because you never come back here. Hello, Claire. Bang. You're alive. I'm so curious about how like, I, I wonder what the models were paid for their faces to be immortalized in this phenomenal game. Look at that, so good! The little stretchy, little stretchy face stuff. Ah, oh, it's so good. This game does not have a dodge button, by the way. Uh, there are ways to dodge zombies. But we'll find that it's easier to just kill them before they even get close to you. Yeah. You're alive! I remember that this game was terrifying when I was younger. You know, back in 98 when it came out. It's terrifying, mostly because of unfortunate control schemes, really. <laughs> but 
Welcome to Raccoon City, home of Umbrella. Oh, it's always disorienting. <laughs> Get him. Kazunori Kadao, Kadoi, Kadoi, Masato Miyazaki. He's cool. Satoshi Takamatsu. Yosuke Yomagata. Yoshitsugu. These are such fun names to pronounce. Hidehiro Goda. Masatoshi Kentaro Nakashima. Tatsuo Isoko. Yoshiaki Hirabayashi. <laughs> Resident Evil 2. I think it would be interesting to play a game. So there, there were games that take place in cities that involve undead. That's true. Um, Dying Light is a big one. Is a good one. Um, although the way they handle that's a little strange. Um, but it'd be cool to, to see a, a Resident Evil game, like within the Resident Evil universe, that takes place within like a, a city, like like Raccoon City. Uh, I think that, that would be really neat. To be multiplayer, in theory, uh, where you're sort of surviving, trying to get from place to place, get out of the city, or what have you. Left for Dead is kind of like that. But Left for Dead has fast zombies. It's not as good. Not as good. Although I will say that Left for Dead has that. Um, they have it has the right feel because like you're afraid of zombies because of the quantity that are present not necessarily because they're fast oh no get out get off of the car These zombies have some degree of like extrasensory perception, unlike the main group, because you can be standing right behind the zombie and it won't see you, and it can't smell you. But these just like mob the car for no real reason. Who's she got on? Oh no! He wasn't gonna make it anyway. The trucky man. You got bit in the neck. <clears throat> we'll talk about some of the reasons why this game is super video gamey once we get into this into the station. Uh, just on account of you know. Oh no! Ooh, look at that! He dented the hell out of that door. Are you okay? Is everyone good? Hello, Claire. Claire, are you okay? Open the door. Okay. Um, not great. Not great. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Time to go. Bye, bye. Nope. 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 No, none of that. Get away. <laughs> Okay. We're safe. Well, reasonably. Hello, Zambo. These, there are a few areas where it isn't reasonable or feasible for you to take out all, all of the, the, all, all, all the Zambos. For the most part, however, it's relatively easy to do. Nope. 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 Take care now. Bye bye then. Nope. Nope. Yeah. Somebody online. Somebody made a mod for PC where every enemy is Nemesis, <laughs> which is just a reskin of Mr. X. Terrifying. I mean, for reals, the most terrifying. 
Is there anything out here? Mm, no, there's not. Cool, okay. Time to go. Hello? Alright, alright, alright. Let's do this. Yes, please. I would like... Oh. Okay. Big tip. Health recovery items. That's all well and good. See that? It's hard to see when I have it highlighted. But for the key, there's a little red check. It's an important thing. If there's a little red check, it means you can discard it safely without any issues. Because it has already been used to its fullness. Handgun ammo times six. Okay. Yeah. What's this? Hello? <clears throat> He's so shiny because of the rain. And that's cool. I think that's super cool. David! Marvin! Oh no! Look at that old computer screen. Windows 95, baby! Center reinforcements! Okay! Oh. That's actually very handy. Gotta find that guy. You got it, bro. Um, I don't need the fade spray right now. Uh, we'll just put that away. That's, can't do anything with that yet. Um, um, let me do a little splore in here real quick. A little bit of splore in. A little bit of splore in. Gotta grab the bullets. Hello, bullets. Yeah. Bullets. Is that locked? That is locked. Okay. I know that we can go. Hmm, is this accessible right now? Oh. Uh, isn't it? Let's see. I don't remember. Screw it. I don't remember what it was. Offhand. We'll, we'll mess around with that later. I should have written it down. Uh, okay, very good. We can go in here. This one I remember. Herbs. Does it tell me about herbs? No, okay. Nothing else in there. Any ammo? Uh, sweet lore. Oh, yeah. Guide pamphlet. Welcome to Raccoon City. Did you know? While we are the home of the pharmaceutical giant Umbrella Corporation, Raccoon City is a vibrant and dynamic city with a long, rich history of its own. In this guide, we'll introduce you to just a few of the more unusual points of interest our city has to offer. Raccoon City Police Station. The building in the center of town wasn't always a police station. In fact, it used to be an art museum. Various features like the unusual clock tower and the goddess statue in the main hall remind us of a bygone era. Orphanage. Just a few blocks from the police station is an orphanage founded and run by the Umbrella Corporation with the help of generous donations, businesses, and citizens alike. The building is known for its stained glass window, which attracts visitors from around the world. Really? And that's also locked, so we can't do anything with that. We can do something with this. Uh, boo. Okay. Six left, two right, eleven left. Hex, yeah. Hex to the yeah. What does that do again? It makes it stabler or something like that? I don't know. So now that room is good. Okay. There's more stuff in here. I think it's just the medallion uh, up here. Yeah. yeah, it's got to be that. Okay. Do we have everything from down here? 
No. Again, more than we can get involved in that. I think. Anyway. I think that's why. What else is here? Maybe the knife Marvin gives you? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Okay. Mm, nope. That was me. Okay. That's loud. Spookity, spookity. Yeah, it's real nice, isn't it? Hmm. Not good. It's not a good. It is not a good. Okay. Is this locked right now? It is. That's fine. Oh, really? Spooky noises! I don't like spooky noises. Hmm. Okay. You got this. I thought for sure that there was like a uh, a board here. Maybe not. Perhaps I am mistaken. I would have thought. Yeah. Awesome. Bullets. Ooh. Okay. Yes, please. I like the game to be bright because Spookums. I like Spookums. Who the TV's up there? <laughs> okay. Let's do this. Hello, that door. Okay. We got it. Ooh. Yes, please. Nothing in there. Uh, some first aid spray. And an overflowing toilet. That's real nice. Anything else in here? No. Okay. All these years make me uncomfortable. Hurry! Open up! Okay. All right. Rude. I have to investigate first. There's nothing here. Fine. Fine. Gosh. <laughs> Just pull him. He's not stuck on the door. If he hadn't have turned and Leon had just pulled him all the way through, he'd have been fine. He'd have been just fine. But no. Ooh. Ooh. Gross. Oh no. <laughs> yes. Ooh, look at that. That's so good, graphically speaking. But it's gross. Okay. Face. Wait. I don't remember which one that is up there. The lady? The lion? I think it's a lion. Lion leaf bird. Okay. 
Come on. Come on. There we go. I see you. Oh no. Come on. Really? Oh goodness. Come on. You can do it. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. <clears throat> Do 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 this had exploded Ooh Nice Okay I'll take it Yes, please. Bullets. Bullets are all very good. Hmm. Oh, right. He's got the chair with the, the stuff and things. Okay. <laughs> Let's meet our friend. <clears throat> no, not you. Gross, stretchy face. Who was at the gas station? How rude. Hello, Hello Marvin. Marvin Branagh. Yeah. No worries, man. It's all good. What you gotta do, man? What you gotta do? What's happening, Brand? Interesting. The recording has a little bit more yellow light hue than my TV does. You know what started this? Not a clue. Okay. Ooh, look at him suited up. Yeah. Hey, look at that. I'm ready. Hopefully, we'll be on the white house this year. That all is better than the LA. You thought this is a tax house, what I call the treasury? Marvin's blood. I got a first aid spray. It heals me up real quick. Just easy peasy. <laughs> Oh, my friend. My good, good friend. Look at that. That's a sweet ass knife. So wait. I'm going to take it out. I'm killing him. All enemies where it's feasible to do so. There are places like the prison where that may not be overly possible. You'll see when we get there. Nice. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Got your knife. Ready your knife. Attack with R2. Showcase that awesomeness just as soon as we do this. Real quick. Uh, lion, leaf, bird. We're going to go ahead and pop this thing in the thing, into our display here. 
just because we don't need it anywhere else and you might as well cool yeah he was right okay we'll pop this open open this lovely door Okay. Drop that off. Keep that for now because it will come in handy. I'm going to do a nice, lovely save. Yeah, yeah there's that. That's where I was in my Claire run. I haven't actually finished the Claire run, but we're just probably going to restart it later. A good place to save it, I would think. Pick up some more bullets. Yes. Yes, indeed, friends. Ooh, more bullets. Hex, yeah. I didn't know that that was there. Did I miss that before? Anyway. Put away the herbs. You don't need the herbs. We'll keep a fade spray just in case something crazy happens, but I don't think we'll need it. Uh, and until next time, pause it here. 15 minutes in, doing okay so far. Until next time, Boba Tuna, we'll see you next video.